Jones winning that temporary spot, but Rashida Tlaib winning it for the next two years. And what's in a name? While some are spending thousands, even millions on campaigns, this woman no one's ever heard of won the Democratic primary for the state Senate without spending a dime. Our big story coverage starts tonight with Bethany Moore sorting out what this means for the 13th Congressional District. Bethany? It's a situation that I don't think Brenda Jones or Rashida Khalib ever thought that they would be in. But to add to all the confusion, you have Jones as the city council president. So now there's the question if she can finish off Conyers' term and still be on the council. It's an odd situation that has lawyers and legislators combing through the House ethics guidelines for answers. It states, while no statutory provision or House rule absolutely prohibits a House employee from holding a local office while remaining on the House payroll, the applicable provisions of state or local law on eligibility for office must be consulted. In addition, House employees must take care to avoid any undertaking that's inconsistent with congressional responsibilities. It goes on to explain that there might be some restriction in pay and the elected official would always have to be clear on what capacity he or she is acting. City Attorney Lawrence Garcia said, we are looking at a number of questions that are not the kind you get every day. The election results for the U.S. Congress 13th District race pose some interesting and unusual questions. The law department is reviewing these matters. Jonathan Kinlock, chairman of the 13th Congressional District Democratic Party, says he's discussed it with Council President Jones and her lawyers. Because this is a federal position, as long as she does not receive compensation while she is on the city council and still serving on council, that it would not be a conflict. Kinlock says she could finish Conyers' term and remain council president until Tlaib took over Conyers' seat in January. We're just happy that this uh, this vacancy is now behind us. We have two dynamic individuals. One will be serving us for a short term, and the other one will be representing us over the next two years, and I'm sure she'll do a great and wonderful job. We reached out to Jones for comment on this, and she did not get back to us. Reporting live, Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. All right, Bethany, thank you. And I